OC just did it again. They've just released a new 5-inch monitor which is touchscreen and has 1000 nits brightness. I'm Harv, by the way. On this channel I make videos about videography, in case the name fooled you in some way. And this is the OC Lilman 5. I want to find out what this can do, what the build quality is like, what kind of user interface and user experience you get, plus there'll be some nice unbiased pros and cons. As ever, this whole video is timestamped so you can just skip to the bit you want. And I'm not going to keep this, I'm actually going to give this away via my Patreon, and if you're not already aware, I have a Patreon. The idea being that any funds from Patreon go back into the channel and then I give gear away to my backers. I would have bought this, but it's uh, this is actually a beta version and it's available to be given away to you guys. Um, so if that's of interest, do check it out, it's just the cost of a cup of coffee and the links are below. Just a quick disclaimer. Uh, this is a beta version and OC did send me this, but under the condition that I can just say what I like uh, and they don't get to see this video before it goes live. And also, you know, boosting sales of this kind of thing is of no interest to me. Um, it doesn't affect me in any kind of way. So, um, so yeah, it's I'd rather have just a really nice balanced review. Um, and that's why I just feel like um, I shouldn't keep this. I should give it away to one of you guys. Uh, so yeah. Want it? Anyway, now taking a look at what this is and what features it has. And when I first heard the name Lilman, I thought, Lilman? Little Megaman? Of course, OC make a fantastic 15 inch monitor called the Megamon 15, which I reviewed previously. But apparently, the Lilman is not related in any way. So you might be thinking, is the Lilman just an OC T5 Plus but with an updated display? And it's not although I kind of thought it would be, but would that be such a bad thing? You know, the, T the T5 Plus uh, I reviewed fairly recently and um, I had barely any kind of cons to give. Here's a little recap of my cons. Onto the cons and the biggie for me is that this is not a touchscreen display. I feel like this could have been a missed opportunity for OC. The little button toggle that you use, I don't love it for operating the unit. Whilst the build quality is okay, I've got to give it a bit of a knock because I really would have liked to have seen something like aluminium used. And I'll just fast forward past the last few because they're all quite nitpicky. So the Lilman 5 has a touchscreen, which is obviously the headline feature of this monitor. And it is, it is a big deal. However, it also also has 1000 nits brightness which is um, stupidly bright it's kind of that's about the same as the newest top of the range iPhone which is the currently iPhone 14 Pro so OCR are not messing around it also has a brand new menu system and, and UI uh, which I will get to in just a bit it also has all of the focus and exposure tools that you would expect from this kind of monitor from things like uh, anamorphic D squeeze to uh, false color histogram uh, vector scope waveforms peaking focus assist everything basically but next on to build quality and looking at the unit side by side it is a different housing to the t5 plus it's slightly bigger, slightly thicker. The position of the on-off switch has moved to the side and the battery placement has changed on the rear. Otherwise, it's still, you know, light. It's about the same weight, actually, and small and relatively ergonomic. Yes, I'm still not a fan of the plasticky feel, but, you know, it's not a bad plastic. And I know, obviously, in a perfect world, I would prefer aluminium, but I know that affects the cost side of things quite significantly. Anyway, now let me show you what you get in the box when you order one of these. So here it is, the Lilman 5. Nice packaging, not that that matters to me whatsoever. Lifting the lid, we have a cloth, which you'll definitely need because I know this has a glossy screen, which you'll be touching a lot. Then we have some spare rubber washers, I assume for the arm mount that you get, and then the unit itself, and oh yeah, let's peel that plastic film. So, satisfying. The Lilman feels pretty good in the hands. The front display definitely feels more premium than the housing to me. It has an HDMI in and out, which is a really nice premium thing to have. On the side, it has headphone, remote and battery out jacks. Underneath, there's an SD card slot for importing your favorite LUTs and updating the firmware. Next, onto the user interface and user experience side of things. And whilst I don't mind the OC menus, I have felt like they could have done with uh, an update for quite a while now. So now let's take a look and see what they're like. So what you're seeing here is the very first time that I've powered the unit on 
and the display itself is really lovely to look at. It's bright, sharp and vibrant. You can see the display along the bottom of the screen and unlike previous OC products, I'm struck by how intuitive this touchscreen user interface is. It's very responsive to the touch and feels very much like I'm using a, an iPhone or something. The focus and exposure tools are super easy to add and subtract. And just to show you a few of my favorites here, you can see waveforms that I keep on almost all the time. I'm loving false color at the moment so it's really nice to have that. And the peaking is really good on the Lilman too. It really makes your planar focus eye-poppingly sharp. Of course, the Lilman has log conversion overlay and all popular log curves are supported. I really like that you can have up to eight scenes where you can have combos of different tools set up for different occasions. For example, you could have a scene for normal shooting and then another for anamorphic any combo you like. So overall, OC's new user interface is just beautiful to use. It's really uh, well-designed, intuitive, kind of premium feeling, and coupled with touchscreen control, it just really is a winner. Yes, yes, OC. As for the overall user experience, again, I'm impressed. Uh, you know, in the past, the weaker area for OC, I would say, were the menus and that kind of thing, but no more. Everything is just simple and intuitive and works. If I'm nitpicking, I still prefer a more compact cold shoe mount than the arm type that the Lilman comes with, but that's just personal preference, of course. Next onto value for money and alternatives and starting with the value. And this is just fairly clearly a, a pretty massive home run for OC. You know, it's, it's under $200 at release for a product that, you know, is touchscreen, it has 1000 nits, it's really intuitive to use, it's uh, got a great user interface and, and lots more. All of that for that kind of price is nuts. Of course, there are kind of too many alternatives to mention. It's, it's fairly uh, a crowded market with uh, the brand leaders being companies like Small HD and Atomos, which I would say they have the edge when it comes to things like build quality. Um, and certainly in Asimos's case, you know, they have the whole external recording edge. Um, but in terms of value, uh, this, this, is, this is head and shoulders above anything that those two companies sell. I'll link some of the closest competitors. They're all going to be good, you know, uh, but I think when it comes to value, as I said, yeah, OC are top of the pile. Next onto my pros and cons, and I'll start with the pros because I'm a glass half full kind of guy. So starting with the pros and touch screen. Yes, OC, finally, you did it and it's awesome. The display is super bright at 1000 nits. This means it's gonna be great for using outdoors in sunlight. You get a really great image with it. The color, as far as I can see, is super accurate. It's really detailed and vibrant. The new user interface is incredible. OC, I can tell, have worked hard on it and it's really paid off. Much needed, of course, but they've done it. It's small and lightweight, making this really good for run and gun and travel videography, that kind of thing. Lastly, the value, my God, the value. Really hard to fault that side of it. And then onto the cons and, you know, the build, it's it's sort of a con, it's a little bit plasticky, not bad plastic, but at this price, what do you expect? It's kind of better than I would expect for under $200. And you know, help me out, I, I can't think of any other cons. This has been a tough one to think of cons for. Finally, to my opinion, and the Lilman 5 is a home run. That's just, that's it. It's a T5 Plus, but improved in as far as I can see, almost every single way, and honestly, for not a lot more cash. I've been talking about how OC should get into the touchscreen side of things for a long time, actually since I reviewed the very first uh, product I've owned from uh, OC, which is the original T7. I suppose the next step for them would be, you know, to get into kind of the external recording market, but honestly, that, that would be a big jump. But if they could do it, and, you know, and still deliver the same OC value, dear God. So buy this if you're in the market for an external monitor. You know, shop around, sure. Look at, you know, look at what Small HD have to offer, but I guarantee you will not get the same value as with this Lilman 5. At this stage, I also recommend against getting the T5, and that's only because you don't have to spend much more to get the Lilman 5, and it is 
quite a big jump up in terms of features and quality. So yeah, don't buy the Lilman if you shoot on a tripod, in which case, you know, a, a larger monitor might serve you better. Otherwise, it's it's pretty great. It's, it's an easy recommendation for me. Anyway, that's it for now. I just hope you found this interesting and helpful. My question of the day for you is this. If OC were to venture into the, you know, external recording markets of, you know, raw formats and that kind of thing, and it became absurdly affordable, would you venture into it? Would you do it? Given, you know, the extra file sizes, let me know and I'll see you in the comments section. I've now filmed hundreds of videos about videography and audio. Actually, I've just passed the 300 mark, so that's a that's a big, you know, that's a big marker. Of which YouTube has recommended this video for you to watch next, and the one below is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys. Mm -hmm.